Hey guys, and welcome back to Adam Smasher, a technical mod pack all about m uh, changing the world around you and using the materials to make things better. Where I have a little bit of sad news, oh yes indeed, my sunglasses, they broke. I was down in the skelly spawner and one of those skeleton heads popped out of the, uh, the kill zone, hit me and I heard a little tank. You know the noise. That means something's broken. And yet, my, my, my sunglasses, they broke. It was sad. It was very sad. But we got a whole bunch of cyber stuff. And it looks like Forrest has come along and dropped some of his cyber things here as well. So we're going to be uh, scanning up and making uh, blueprints, breaking all the stuff down. And I think, actually, we need to put this in its own separate room. And I want to go collect a bunch of materials for that, go do a, a whole build, possibly over there. I've been looking at this sort of bank that I've built up here. I think I'd like to carry on bringing it round and maybe in front of the nether portal there. Uh, that leaves space for a building right there. But first, there's an anomaly in my base. Yes, indeed. Now, you know me, I die a lot, but this is not me. That I did not die here. If nothing else, Twitchy's grave. I'm not Twitchy, I'm Twitchy1003. Uh, Twitchy is actually some German guy who won't give up the name. Yeah, I know, I know. It was originally, originally it was me, but I messed up the whole... Uh, uh, account creation process when I was like, you know, back in 2012, you know, it was a long time ago, 2011, something like that. It was super long ago. And then the account got reset and this guy grabbed the name before I could. But anyway, the point is, that's not me. Can I right click it? Can I left click it? I, I don't know what this is like. This really is not me. I wasn't even on on that day. Like, I didn't I didn't come in, come into the server that day. So, uh, yeah, I kind of want to break it. But at the same time, I don't want to break it. Yeah, decisions, decisions. All right, I need a shovel, which I should have one over here, and I need to go looking for some snow. I want to make myself a little snow factory because we are living in the pristine world of the white here. I don't know if you've noticed. I've got white, white wool. I've got white concrete. I mean, Zed's in grey, but, you know, grey is a tone of white, right? Uh, we've got the birch trees being uh, on display here. So I think snow is a pretty good... Oh, hello, a little bit of spring back there. A uh, pretty good material to want to build in. Now, I've got to be careful going around forest base here because there is something that literally just tanks my frame rate down to zero. I thought it was those windmills, but I literally just saw them uh, and it didn't cause me problems. So that's no biggie there. Now, I'm heading off towards the Cyphers area because he lives in a, in a land of extreme hills. Apart from they're called mountains now, not extreme hills. But anyway, we are going over that way to try and farm some snow. I'm going to get myself a snow golem, and then we're going to see about making myself an actual snow farm. Oh, look, we, we don't even have to go to the ciphers. This was literally the uh, forest. Oh, you can even still see my place there. Oh, hello. For All right, actually, this is the ciphers base. Look at that. That That's the, the bowl he put over his area. Look at this place. It's, it's such a nice little area to go and look at. I think it's amazing. If I hadn't settled around the lagoon, I would possibly have uh, settled here. Look at that bit in between us. Hmm. I'll have to fly around at some point. I, l I love it when the uh, when the world terrain stays loaded, despite the fact that the server can only go that far out. Um, my computer can handle a lot more. All right, I'm gonna just pick up this snow here. I think I don't. I don't think the cipher's keeping this for any reason. Oh, that's a breakable, is it? Ooh, I broke it. Support block, RF tools. If I just do that, okay. Well, he's not been online for a while, but I'm going to stop doing that because I didn't intend to break anything. Ah. <laughs> ah, the support block is not craftable. I was going to see if I could fix the problem that I just made. Uh, no, is the quick answer there. I'm going to have to assume that it's something like this. Now, that's the time absorber. One of these will very much be for the builder. There we go. I bet I bet it's something to do with that. But I'm not trained in RF tools, so maybe when I know what I'm doing, I will come back and have a go. Hmm, this might scupper my plans a little bit here. So I made us a, a little platform, a little holding area. Uh, if I put this one here, this one here, and then fly up and put the... Uh, the pumpkin on there. I was expecting snow to form here. 
It's not because of the light levels, and when I originally did it, I did it on a redstone block, and I was like, all right, is that the reason why? No, no, they should definitely be casting snow onto that. Now, is it the biome? We're in a sunflower plain, so that might be a problem. We can we can see the mountains over there. I think I'm going to go running this. Oh, feel that frame rate drop. That That's what I was saying about I need to be careful when coming over this way, because something somewhere really goes to town on my graphics card. A bit presumptuous there. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know that it's my graphics card, but could be any part of my machine failing. Okay, how are we going to test this? There's a nice flat patch over there that I have already taken some snow off of. If I just come down here and grab a load more. So snow can form here. That That's kind of the, the thought process I'm working off. Let's see if we can make a snowman. I reckon I can. I should have turned, made a lot more snow blocks than that. But if we put this guy down here, another pumpkin there. So we make snow here. Hmm, that's a little inconvenient. Okay, I've built a little prison that doesn't have a dirt floor for him. Let's try and just kind of jump my way in here and then drop him down like that. Have to F5 here because if I pick him up and then go normal view, all I see are his insides. It's uh, pretty horrific, actually. Pretty horrific. The things I've had to do to make this work. Okay, that looks like it might, might be fine for me. If I now dig out this hole here take a few holes there and ah oh, no 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 get get in the hole get in the hole ah oh, why 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 won't you work for me okay i just spent a little bit of time pushing him around um, can we pull up the hitboxes yeah there we go yeah i thought so he's right on the edge there so i need to try and find a place where he's not going to be right on the edge of the block something like this go all right Infinite snow. Well, one ruby shovel later, I am starving. But I've got a whole load of snowballs here. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's that's quite a few. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to leave this guy here. Thanks. You, you did me well. Uh, wait, we should put a block on top because if it rains... Oh, no, it doesn't rain here. It just snows. But anyway, I'm going to put a block on top just so no water can get into there. I'll take these two back with me, though. You never know when extra dirt's going to be important. Oh, and as the sun sets, I need to get some lime dye. But let's, uh, let's get our build on, shall we? Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
I think we can say that roofs are hard in Minecraft. I've never cracked them, as you can be able to tell by, like, the gaping holes where there should be a roof in uh, a lot of my builds. I just, I don't know, I can't, I can't seem to make one that looks good enough. And honestly, I mean, like, look at this, look at this side here. I'm not impressed. Let's, uh, let's try and go in there and add a little bit of detail. I don't know what we're going to actually be able to do to it, like, long-term wise. I think maybe, like, a few bushes, maybe an armor stand or two. This is actually that number wide okay that's cool that's four not not five that's fine i can live with that okay that that kind of adds a little bit more going on but it's it's not enough it's not even close to enough but inside here we've got the wonders of what everything that is going on oh look at that so i found out that you can put multiple hello, hello. my writing's going behind my uh NEI, NEI, that's that's what well, it used to be called NEI, it's now JEI, right? That That's the trick. Uh, low light vision enhancement could probably go there. So I found out that you can put multiples in there. If we run all the way over here, oh yeah, yeah, things have, have arrived in my base. We'll have to uh, talk about these in a second because they will very nicely lead on to something else we're going to do. Uh, let's pull out 15 of these uh, salvaged rail riders, shall we? And we'll come over uh, this way back to where we are working. If I just kind of shift click those in, look, all of them go in up to a 50% chance. Uh, it turns out you get 10% for each one over over a single one. So if we go like one is just 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And technically I could now take all of these over to here and just be like bam, 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 bam. And we get a bunch of stuff back. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Uh, and we'll pop those in there. And we got a bunch of iron, actually. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so... Uh, Forest heard me talking about how this is the land of white, so he's brought me a bunch of molten quartz. I'm not sure why it's molten. I, I don't know. I think he's just trying to make me work for my freebies. I, I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure, though. I am tempted to swap the quartz there. Well, the uh, the the molten reactor. What what is this stuff called? Meltonium? I don't know. It's something like that. It, it did actually have a name that was kind of witty. But, like, replace that with the white. That that would look pretty good. Uh, another thing that we've got going on is down the back here. Pop that away. Uh, this has been delivered, I, I presume, by the uh, by the sign by Zed. Uh, which is great, but it's stolen my quick, quick drop down. But this is an ME interface. This is, like, ridiculous storage. The problem is ridiculous... St oh, hello froze up for a second there the problem with a ridiculous storage if we come down here is the ridiculous power requirements oh have you not actually turned back on let's uh let's deal with that not enough energy as you can see so if we come around here the uh dense energy you can see it's ticking down constantly that's actually got a little bit more in it than i thought thought it would have. I was in earlier today doing this and now I need to press the button like three times to get enough power into the computer to be able to run it. So I think we need to upgrade our power system. Indeed this will tell us such as soon as I re-fire all this back up. Let me uh, just quickly type some stuff in here. And we should be able, as soon as it ch catches up, there we go. It's all, it's all loaded in. Brilliant. As you can see, upgrade recommended. Very much an upgrade is recommended. If we come and have a look in here, this is a... Oh, hello. What happened there? This is a ridiculous... I need to put some stairs in here. I, th I think that's a must. Do I have a half slab on me? I do. Look at that. Brilliant. Bam. Okay. This is literally... Well, it's not bog standard reactor. We could take out two of these and have the minimum reactor. But I think we can we can do a lot better. I've been playing around uh, in the creative world, mainly so that I can start using some of these more high energy fuels because I want to... I want to... Um I want, to, I want to build a more powerful reactor. If we come in here and have a look at the coolers, you can see that the vast majority of them need uh, thing, th things uh, relating to where they are in the reactor. So uh, that was a terrible sentence there, and I apologise. They have requirements to be able to be used. For instance, the water cooler must be able to touch one reactor cell. That's these, uh, these empty ones at the top here. One reactor cell and a moderator block. Now, I'm not going to be putting moderator blocks in here. Oh, no. that They they create a lot of extra heat. They put, cause more problems. Every time I tried to put a moderator block into a setup, it just it caused me more hassle than it was worth. Also, quick note, whilst I'm uh, 
like about to feed uh have a look at the saturation levels down here if you eat two steak in a row bam you're just like up at full saturation that's why i'm letting my health uh, my health my hunger run all the way down recently uh but yeah the um the ones that I'm actually going to end up using, because if you can have a look here, the quartz cooler must touch at least one activated moderator block, uh, must touch at least one reactor cell for the redstone. Glowstone's kind of good, two activated moderator blocks. Ah, no, no. I thought the, the glowstone was good, but it actually turned out that I got moderators and coolers mixed up. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, look, look at this gold one, though. Activate a water... A must touch an active water cooler and an active redstone cooler. Man, the diamond one must touch active at least two active water coolers and one active quartz cooler. It's all mouthfuls and mouthfuls. The ones that you would like to use, like the Enderium, where you put it in, like, the corner, touching three cases, and you get 120 for free. We, we don't have access to Enderium. Look clicking doesn't doesn't do anything uh the crimethium you thought that would be good right oh look we even get a recipe but if you go through the molten crimethium it's it's all very cyclical um you can yeah, basically just keep getting back to molten crimethium through the same way but there's no way of actually making it now maybe there's a way of getting it from a mob or something like that but i don't know so what we're actually going to do is use the tin Oh no, that's iron. Tin, it's here somewhere. Tin, right. Must be between at least two active lapis coolers along the same axis. So I am going to push this this controller out. Let's 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 figure out how this can work. Oh, we're about to run out of fuel, so that's good. Okay, in that case, let's get a pickaxe out. It's go, we're going to have one in here somewhere. Let's grab a whole load of extra casings. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, let's start ripping this apart, shall we? I think we are going to. Now, my main plan is to have the two coolers in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, if we take these down, and I'm going to go down another level. I can't go up, unfortunately. Look, that's the that's the floor of the floor above yeah the floor of the floor above you you got me there uh let's grab this controller out now the controller is probably actually going to have to fit somewhere else because if we're going down a le le level we've got a problem let's uh let's go over there and have a look right we can we can easily fix this this is good this is good nice and easy i like easy fixes I like easy fixes. Now, this is not going to be pulling out like this because the configurator is the tool of many, many things. Well, it, it's the tool that really makes stuff happen. Uh, let's have a look. What do I want to be on? Items will be fine, I suppose. It turns out that any of these configurate um, settings kind of work work just with each other it's all very generic but the rotate and the wrench they are very specific for different things about what will and what what won't work okay let's uh, punch a little hole in the bottom we're gonna go for a three by three design here i think oh hello how are you doing die 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 cool that that was quick yeah we're gonna go for a three by three design uh i'm gonna just kind of fill it all in and then bring you back when i've got ah uh, when i've knocked down a hole it turns out bah. So whilst I've been waiting for plates and casings and graphite powder and all that sort of stuff to uh, to cook and get ready over there, I've been making a few changes to this. I still don't know what to do about the roof, but I've put a little doorway on the front. We've got some little uh, dudes out the side here just to make it feel a little bit more full, a little bit more like there's something going on here. It's still not perfect, but it, it's good. It's a good start. It, it's, it's a little bit more going on there. I think what I want to do is bring this path to go and join with that flat section over there uh, and then kind of select this middle bit out here that I'm actually stood on right now. Let's fly up here so we can go and have a look. Oh, I'm nearly out of power. Um, maybe bring this one over this way and then have this join up with that. Uh, I also want to like surface all the stuff out here i'm not sure what with I, I i feel like it needs like some concrete or some stone maybe like various forms of stone out hey, hey whoa 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 what are you what are you doing here go, go on be gone with you these guns super op when it comes to like normal vanilla mobs uh it's pretty cool pretty cool not so good against the uh, the zombie soldiers and stuff like that 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 takes time uh significant fractions of a clip but that that's cool all right so what we're actually doing if i can stop fighting these slimes and get downstairs we are upgrading the reactor yes indeed you can see that i've already gone ahead and moved my two uh, fuel cells one top one bottom that's because we can't have them touching if we want to run the high energy fuel uh, i also in here have us a whole bunch of uh, lapis now this this is nice and easy all it needs to do is touch the cell and the reactor case
showcasing. So we can go around and do a bunch of these. I'm not going to fill the middle one in. The front one in. Sorry, not yet. Not yet. Uh, there's there's a lot of room. There's we still there's not a lot of room, and we still need to do some stuff. So in here we got the tin cooler. This needs to have a lapis uh, either side of it, basically. So if I put it there, you can see it's got a lapis one side and the other. They have to be opposite each other. I couldn't put it in the corner because despite the fact there being two lapis next to it, it's not opposite each other. So that that this now if you're wondering about this gap in the middle i've been wondering about this gap in the middle for a longest time no matter no matter what i can find to put in the middle it doesn't actually function um either the moderator will just go cook it too hot or, or anything like that uh so we've got a whole bunch of here 1360 on the cools let's try this one it th this full stress test Full stress test. So that's gone in. That's fine. We need to fire up the nuke check. Do we have the power? That's the question. Yes. Yes, we have the power. Okay, that that is good. I'm not sure how much how far this is going to go, but let's just start these going. Okay, this is where we find out whether it's going to just completely throw a problem or not. No, no, no. We appear to be all right. I'm not seeing anything here that looks like it's an issue. We've got a lot of power in there already, do we? I disagree 1000 mmm mmm where are you getting these numbers from oh no that's maxing up a bound no there, there's the one I'm after Pfft, never mind me so I've just noticed it's still not on and I'm not sure why why is this one not ticking over we should be providing power to the one below it should be feeding that okay so that's not really doing it right now I thought this let's let's break it I did it the other way earlier so let's do it this way now we'll grab one of these we'll go over to it and we will slap it down no no this isn't the one you save the coordinates with so I'm not sure Ooh. That's that's not what I wanted. It should just be working. Okay, all right. I'll, I will figure this out. I just want to show this reactor running. So there we go. We've got no heat being produced. Oh, look at this. It's brilliant. I could I could probably even touch the two together. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe those two cells in there, possibly. But that is a high burning but tiny reactor next time we're going to be making a big full blown 17 by 17 mahusive fission reactor because our power Ooh, let's, let's get out of the let's get out of the hole let's get out of the hole because my power constraints have been going absolutely nuts recently i would like to get on top of that so i think next time when we come back we're going to clear a whole area of right back there somewhere and we're going to put a massive massive fission reactor but i will see you then when we're going to do that bye there's a tree there <laughs>